you're up to your social calendar. <laughs> God, what questions y'all have? I guess first of all, weekend, what have you learned about your team that you, you didn't know a week ago? Yeah, it's really good leadership in a lot of positions. Uh, we had a good test yesterday with the downpour right in the middle of practice and stayed outside in it. Uh, didn't turn a ball over one time, didn't have a bad snap one time. I mean, it was boring. You could barely see the film. And sometimes teams will complain, like, hey, use an indoor over there. Let's go use the indoor. Nobody said a word. They just kept playing. And that was great. You know, it was a test. And today it was, as you know, super muggy. So again, another test. Started camp, it was 95, felt like 106. So, you know, we're getting that uh, Mother Nature's touch right now and seeing who's got a little bit in their tank. And today we pushed them. We're going to scrimmage tomorrow. And, and it really wasn't a, a long practice, but we had some sustained long drives today. So you got to see stamina and kind of where guys are at. And so they're figuring out who they are a little bit right now. And there's good competition. Uh, some of the freshmen have really showed kind of some things here. Uh, Keenan Jackson has been very consistent. Jaden Scott, young running back, been very consistent. So excited, you know, to kind of see that. Um, CJ, you know, had a really good practice for us yesterday and, and getting to see him do more work. So tomorrow's going to be fun. You know, excited. The scrimmage obviously tells you way more than a practice. Wesley and Brandon were talking about the battle between the wide receivers and the secondary. It was kind of helping some that spin. What's that look like from your perspective? Yeah. Uh, I think there was a lot said about the receivers all through spring, and then we added these older players uh, after spring. And so that iron sh uh, sharpens iron mentality that we carry. You're really seeing it. You know, uh, DK, uh, transfer from Auburn, playing really good football, great command, understands the scheme, talks to guys, uh, seeing the same thing uh, from Jihad Carter. Consistent, quick learners. Uh, Kerry Martin, same thing. And so now you're seeing that older player against older player, and, and it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun to see these guys compete, definitely making each other better. How much does those two guys' experience help in learning a defense quicker than, you know, not experience practice? It helps a lot. You know, I think you guys were talking to DK, but uh, I mean, he'll tell you he's been through like five position coaches, you know, in his career. So he's had to learn a new language almost every year. So easy for him to adjust. Um, and that's the one thing as a coach you can't do. You can't make a player more experienced. So, you know, that's the, the value of bringing an older player in. Even though you may have a talented young guy, he won't have the game reps and learning from success and failure, you know. And they're also at the end of their time. And so that urgency to be good is different. One of the jokes that sometimes has popped up in the last couple of years is when a coach loses a recruit, he has to be nice after the loss because you never know. Might end up in the portal. What was it like with second time around with Noah after such an intense first yeah, time around? Yeah, you know, we carry a mentality here, and it has nothing to do with the portal. You know, do the most right thing. And we put a lot of time into recruiting guys. We want them to be happy and successful in college. Sometimes it works out where we get them. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, I don't think you get any benefit out of mistreating somebody uh, when you don't get it your way. Uh, it's just wish them well. And like you said, you may get them back. You may not. But, uh, life, you never know when you're going to run into that guy again, right? Or he's going to run into you. And so just doing the right thing, treating people with respect, you know, and I think second time around, I've known Noah since he was a seventh grader, you know, so there's a, a very big relationship uh, timeline there for us and for the players on our team that grew up with him. Robert and I said yesterday that he's seen a really big difference in the running back room in terms of the attitude. How do you kind of compare this year to last year? Yeah, there's competition. The guys have worked hard. Um, again, bringing in Jordan, an older player, uh, allowing Kendrick to have a guy like that that uh, can help him off the field. Kendrick did a great job in the offseason building his body up, you know, and then through recruiting, bless you, uh, through recruiting, you know, bringing in Dalen Smothers, bringing in Jaden Scott, um, seeing those guys. You know, Demarcus Jones has always been a workhorse for us and does anything and everything. So. It's an experienced and young group that has good leadership and experience, you know, and, and brotherhood. These guys really do a nice job helping each other. We're seeing Tim Beck and the entire Coastal team coming in here now. How did that come together and, and what made that happen? Mother Nature, you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, we, we feel for the, the folks, you know, that are going through it with this hurricane. And Tim called and asked if they could use our indoor. Uh, obviously, yes, if it's outside of our practice times. And, 
So we're happy to help them and you know, hopeful that it won't last too long and create too much damage in their town. Over the summer, you talked about Trevally Price looking different. How have you seen that in all the practice from that? Yeah, he's completely changed everything, you know, his habits, his routine, and, and he's benefited from that. You know, he's he built his body up to 280 pounds. Last year, he was up and down, up and down. And when you're up and down in body weight, the results are up and down, you know, because your energy is <laughs> going to be different day in and day out. So very proud of Trevally. I mean, really proud of his growth on and off the field. How about a guy like Brandon Cisse and yeah. Him stepping up in that role potentially there. He's got a great mentor in there with Aiden, and uh, I think he takes every rep to heart. He's he's really serious about getting better uh, in the competition, and then we got him in a lot of games as our starting dime last year. So he has valuable game experience in our defense. Final questions for Coach. One more. All good. You guys have a good day.